Our history has always been shaped by collaboration. It's so much of what makes us human. We collaborate to build cities, form societies, innovate, and build engineering marvels. So how has collaboration evolved? And how has that evolution changed the way we manufacture? The 18th century marked the dawn of the first industrial revolution. Since then, the progression of each industrial revolution has drastically transformed and empowered manufacturing. So before the industrial revolution, manufacturing was carried out by small facilities located close to the clients. And in terms of collaboration, well, the collaboration was very limited because it was mainly individuals doing the work at home, doing small batches of production and catering for their neighbors. At the heart of this evolution has been the way we communicate and ultimately how we collaborate. So these factories, these new factories of the first industrial revolution could employ thousands of people, hundreds and thousands of people who produce mass batches of standardized goods more cheaply than they could be produced at home. The rise of modern mass production required fundamental changes in technology and the organization of labor, the organization of the process of production. We move from batch production to continuous processes and then to automated processes and flexible manufacturing systems. So the latest stage is in Industry 4.0 is autonomous production, which is underpinned by the integration of cyber systems such as software and computer programs and physical systems such as advanced sensors and robotics. This fundamental shift in how we collaborate has had a profound effect on every aspect of manufacturing. Look, I think cloud have changed have changed the world we live in. I mean, when we talk about the fourth industrial revolution and all the possibilities that came with that, I think cloud is at the center of it all. So when you think about the industries of the future and how cloud have shifted or have changed, transformed, if you may, the, the way we, we manufacture products, the way we design products, the way we, we optimize products, I think it played a, a big, big role. Not long ago, an industrial designer had to be physically present in the meeting room, design studio, and on the shop floor. Today, the cloud allows engineers to access information and exchange data remotely. In the old days, you had to have all your product designers sitting in one place to, uh, to really collaborate, whereas in the world today that we live in that's empowered by the cloud, you can get best of breed designers from all across the world to collaborate, to, again, using, using technologies maybe like HoloLens uh, with uh, augmented reality and uh, using the cloud as, uh, as a collaboration platform for them to all work on one product while they're in very different parts of the world. And it doesn't stop there. The cloud allows workers to integrate, monitor, and connect supply chains, providing visibility on consumption and inventory, making manufacturers more efficient. It allows organizations to back up critical business data with advanced security features, securing them from potential threats and ensuring business continuity at all times. But with this reliance on connectivity and collaboration, the cloud does present concerns. A number of stories recently considered cybersecurity as one of the main threats facing manufacturing um, recently. So on one hand, obviously your sensitive data, think about your designs, your sales data, your customer data could be compromised. On the other hand, the effect on your production means that there is also a cyber safety issue. Is the data that on, uh, upon which your processes depend might be compromised and that create actual physical danger to your facilities and to your workers. At Microsoft, we're spending today more than a billion dollars per year just on security, 
part to make sure that uh, that we're moving faster than some of those malicious uh, malicious door doors. We we monitor per day more than eight trillion events. Okay, and this is between between events on uh, you know malicious attacks or uh, or email uh, threats or phishing attempts or uh, or laptop or uh, <laughs> or server you know vulnerabilities among among the world to be able to identify those proactively and secure our cloud and accordingly secure all our customers that have put their trust into into our cloud. There's no denying that organizations must take serious measures to protect their data and information. However, with co-creation and collaboration, there's also no denying that the future of work and manufacturing will continue to prosper. Our world is borderless. Global enterprises are finding new ways to become more inclusive, and access to opportunity is no longer limited by where we are in the world. So what does the future of cloud look like? And how do machines fit into this future?